At General Dynamics Bath Ironworks, we work each and every day to produce ships that sailors can bet their lives on. With each new generation of shipbuilder, we take pride in supporting our nation's defense by delivering the most advanced and well-crafted ships while continuing to uphold our legacy. The Bath Built is best built. Join the legacy at BIWCareers.com. Introducing the Fly Racing Snow Zone Pro Goggle. Constructed with a dual pane, polycarbonate premium injected polarized snow lens with anti-scratch and anti-fog coatings. The Zone Pro Goggle from Fly Racing Snow. Getting get started around here. Jeez, this is where I have to do the audition. God, what is this kind of place? Hey, Anthony. How's it going today? If you want to put on that microphone and write your name down on the piece of paper. It's a little weird, but all right. Did you find the place okay? Uh, it was a little confusing at first. I didn't really know which way to go. It said left on the paperwork, but ended up being a right. I apologize, but I'm glad you found us. Uh, is it okay for me to take a seat? Uh, please, yes. All right. See right there. I'll be asking you a few questions. Uh, today we're actually casting for a film called Fresh Twelve. In that film, you'll be working with male talents such as myself and a bunch of my friends, uh, Mark York, Travis Charette, Ralph. Whoa, Cameron. whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, I don't work with Charette. Okay. Okay. I have a big no-no with that guy. Uh, big beef. Big beef. So. Okay, I'll see if I can. Uh, please take him out of the script. If he's going to be working with me, uh, that's going to be a no already out the gate here. So where this is a, an extreme snowmobiling film, do you have any special talents? Like with snowmobiling at all? Because you seem very educated for this position that we're looking for, so I'm just wondering what brought you in here today? This is going to be more of like a side money for me? If this works out, you could make like $1,000 to $5,000 per day. What? Is it really? Like, really? How, how many times a week do I have to do that? Now, if I can pay you that much, would you work with Travis Charette? So I did talk to Travis. He said he would be willing to work for that much, um, and he doesn't mind riding with you. So I really just don't like him. He's not a good rider, and he will not shut up the whole damn time we're out there. He whines a lot. He bitch moans and complains. Okay. Um, and, you know, if we're talking a thousand to five thousand dollars a day to be working with him, it would have to be five thousand dollars, and I would like a paid snowmobile. So Anthony, I'm going to be interviewing five or six more guys. 
to fill this position in the next film in our Ravex TV series. Mm -hmm. Is there anything before you part that you would like to leave on? Any final notes or anything? Uh, yeah, I do actually have one little note for you. There's only one thing that really matters to this whole thing. And that's me. Man, that'd be dumb not to hire me. I'd definitely crush that interview. I honestly, I think I'm the best one here. And I haven't even met anyone here yet. I think it was like, that must be the last interview for the day. Keep tips up. If I can, I see the line that Anthony's going to take and it's dialed, I will totally try to snipe it. Um, I'm going to admit it right now because I don't care. Um, we have the same kind of eye for lines, so when I see that, I'm like, oh, that's a mint line. I'm going to try to get that before he does. Um, but I did do that to him, um, and he was real pissed off. He, liked to, he threw a hissy fit like a six-year-old that couldn't get the toy at Walmart. He was mad. Um, so that was that was pretty awesome. I thought last year was his best year. Um, he came off a cat a couple years in a row. Uh, I think he struggled with that and uh, got on a skidoo last year, but I think he killed it and he did really well. Oh, Trav, tomorrow we're going riding with Anthony. So I'm sorry we invited him. What are your thoughts? Well, I guess he's gonna probably throw a hissy fit tomorrow. So he's not gonna like the riding spot. Yeah. Says he can do crossovers like Chris Barant. Yet to see one. Well, he's got really long hair and he needs to cut it. Looks like a chick. Oh, we got a little beef. Anthony wasn't happy. Trav. Oh, what do we got going on here? Thanks, sir. Yeah. 
There's a reason why my name is Big Thone. Travis. Charette, he, uh, he was all right, you know. He got stuck a couple times, and when he got stuck, he, uh, he cried. He cried a lot, and I had to get up there and uh, help him out. Which I can't really say much, because I do throw my occasional hissy fit. I love Trav, he's, uh, he's a good guy. He, uh, he stays at my camp with me. He'll give a back rub occasionally, if you beg him for it. But um, no, he, Trav's a good guy. He, uh, he always has a lot of excitement out there. Um, He's always willing to do uh, stuff that some of us aren't willing to do. Um, he's not afraid of wrecking, crashing, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Travi makes it fun for sure. For some reason, I always say I'm going to work on something at the beginning of the year. And it just kind of turned into trying to do re-entries this year. I do my re-entries, I suppose, is a little bit different as opposed to maybe some of these Ravex guys. Some of these guys, they kind of are just, uh, it's a glorified wheelie. For, if you will. Um, you watch the guys in the videos and then you're like, yep, no, those are dialed. And then you watch us and you're like, what are these guys doing? Like, I like to just kind of have that movie, like flowy style. And it never works out for me for some reason. Oh boy, we're here with Trav Charette. Trav, I feel bad for you, bud. Every time I look over your stock, you're swearing, you're, you're pissed, you're in a bad mood. Yep. Of the day. I'm not even stuck. Six. I'm not in a bad mood. We gotta go film that before it gets all cracked up in the meal. Okay, Trav, your turn. It's all blown out now. Oh, really? I'm just struggling. I can't get the handle of the snow, I guess. I don't know. Um, just, it's weird. It's like concrete. You start to get some traction. You let off to get the sled to pop up, and then as soon as you do that, it's like the bottom falls out and you get right buried again so I don't know it's just uh not my snow not my day but it's better than working
For me, I enjoy the I enjoy the filming aspect. Yeah, I get a little impatient sometimes when you see a line, and uh, McNeil decides to be uh, Mr. Impatient, steal it on me. But uh, I really do enjoy it. I'd like to get out and do it more. It'd be nice if we could get a couple more guys with uh, cameras out there so we could uh, get some different angles and stuff. So filming was a little bit different. Had to wait for Dave to uh, tell us where to go. Uh, didn't snow that much this season, so. We'd get kind of excited and, and hit lines. He'd get mad at us. So it was a new type of riding, but uh, it was fun overall. Riding the Chapman and McNeil this year was a blast. Um, obviously, both guys rip, and you know it's it's uh, it's fun. There's there's so many people. That's the thing with like with our industry. We don't think we're great. We don't think we're the best. Um, we're just out filming it. 
which a lot of people don't bother doing because filming's a pain in the ass. Um, you know, it's it's not easy. You have to stop, set, wait. Ah, uh, team office. Jeez, those guys. McNeil decided to go down this uh, chute or something. I told him not to, but he was down there. It was really steep. He got stuck, needed a, a I don't know, a shovel or something. Went down there to try to help him out. I knew we weren't getting out of there. It was too steep. We weren't coming up and out. So it was getting pretty dark out. We were down in there um, traversing across. He ended up hitting a tree, broke his bars in half. Uh, one handlebar, one left handlebar, and then the other one dangling with the components uh, through saplings. I was pretty much uh, told everyone that we're going to leave the sled till the spring. It was hard to stay calm, but we ended up just kind of ski tugging. Uh, Chapman ended up walking down through, making a path for us to get out, um, and uh, it was it was uh, it wasn't good. We didn't know if we were going to leave the sled and go get it, but um, I had a good dinner that night on McNeil, so that was really good. Thanks, buddy. You see anything I can hit? Right there. See where all the snow is where I trenched it? If you stay just to the right of that, I think yeah. you can pop it. Yeah. And then go right up through? Yeah. I can feel an A-arm coming away from no. this one. Just Bro, why do you have up. to say that? I'm you got to keep your skis up. Yeah. Wheelie yeah. right over it. It'll pop you and probably throw you about 15 feet from the sled, but that's kind of what the end game we're, we're going for anyway. I think you got it. I I don't know how much you can with McNeil. He looks like he takes some really seriously. All right, let's go over there, Davey. Hang on, I'm just waiting for sh something great is about to happen. Everyone's leaving, I can't do it. Okay. Just do it. Is it bad on the other side? No. Yeah, it's just powder. Oh, yeah. It is. McNeil feels like a million bucks right now. Oh, yeah. Okay.
butt feels really different. Trap, you just cross walked me. That's what I My name's Austin, I'm 17 years old from Jackson, Florida. So, Austin Blodgett, I mean, who doesn't know Austin Blodgett, right? I actually don't even really ride in Maine, which is kind of weird, because I actually travel pretty much as far as I possibly can and stay like in America to actually go and ride. Uh, kid rips, shredder, you know, he's he's got a great skill set. I actually haven't even ridden with Ravex. I bump into him everywhere. Um, I'll bump into him in, all the way out in Wyoming, I'll bump into him up in I've been used to this. And on the seventh day, they created Austin Blodgett. <laughs> Honestly, it's pushed a bunch of our guys to try to get better. The younger guys, the Anthony's and the Travis's, they kind of look up to, to Austin and, and want to, you know, want to be as, try to aspire to be as good as him. That right there, shut my day down. No, bro. Well, I mean, it didn't have to shut me down, but I'd like to not send it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
definitely use the money that's for sure i'd have to say barry's probably my favorite favorite buddy to ride with it's always just a good time with him jeremy barry followed me i was side hilling and broke my handlebars in half we stayed there and uh if you guys are familiar with the copland house i i spent a good 500 dollars for for the people that uh helped me get out of that including uh chris chapman jeremy barry i like going for uh, little booters stuff like that stuff you can hop off nothing major but uh, we don't really have a lot of big hits out here, um, so um, I don't know. Just go out and have fun, you know. Jeremy, the Baird Whisperer. Leave the other one on top of the. Look! Look! Oh. Look! Put your hand up.
How, how's my makeup? Is it all right? <laughs> so Northern Backcountry team, it's a couple of brothers out of the mid coast area and um, guys rip once again, um, just don't care. They're literally riding in like, I say seven inches of snow, but like a foot and a half of snow in Western Maine, which isn't a lot. And they're just going for it, man. Like, I mean, they destroyed, I think it was five tracks this year. Uh, I definitely lost count of A-arms, like ball joints, uh, A-arms, just completely, they have a ZFG policy. Northern backcountry team. I remember with those guys uh, once, probably going on probably two years ago. Hats off to them. They'll ride in three inches of snow and they'll be trying to throw just all these maneuvers and just absolutely just sliding, you know, steering posts down rock ledge and um, I mean like completely shaving off the bottom of their skis. I, I'm pretty sure every post that I saw from them was them looking for a set of A-arms because they didn't have any more and they couldn't find any more in stock because the, ro the Ronies are sucking all of our inventory out. Dinked her. I should have just pinned her. Little collision. Okay, well I need a new one of those, but that's fine. Woo! Dinked her? Oh, he dinked her. What did you do? I friggin', I was being retarded and I went and turned right here and he came right over right at the same time. <laughs> Run into you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a good line. I guess this is the best case scenario. Stop that.
world degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the hood, out the hood, out the Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. Take the left side, Yeah. Yeah. I don't chat with the boys, man so tough but must keep rocking. Just too shot with the boys, right girls gotta tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pine. If you wanna touch my peace, just touch me, 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 I would not have been able to do that line with a chaos rail. You got a little dent. In what? Here. In your bump? In your freaking exhaust, dude. Oh. Aw. I kept it recording the whole time. That was fun. Riley, what do you think, buddy? You like? <laughs> you liking the side, Helen? So what happened on that one, buddy? Kind of got away from you. Uh, I don't know. I lost my balance and then fell off. Do you have anything you want to tell the kids that are learning how to side hill? Don't lose your balance.
That was sick, dude. So you were going pretty fast. Do you have to keep a good clip to keep it on its side, or can you also do that and go like pretty slow? You can go a little slower, but you want to have a good amount of speed so you can keep it up way easier. And so um, you like don't start sliding down the hill and you can make it straight across. This is the worst person in our crew. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> and he's been riding for 12 years with me and he's still the worst. Um, yeah, this year uh, for me um, was not my best year. Uh, Ralphie Bag of Donuts, I believe you call him, or Ralphie Bananas. Uh, he, he was stuck all the time and he couldn't get himself out. Uh, Ralph's riding, geez, I don't know, buddy, what do you think? <laughs> not my year, man, not my year. I let him try to ride my sled for, I don't know, one day it was probably like a 20 minute stint and the thing was upside down and on the handlebars and or stuck more than it's been the entire year with me riding it. Yeah. <laughs> Quite sure it's probably mostly me being out of shape. Ice cream. Yeah, Ralph's eating his ice cream. Carbs for your ride. It's okay. it's about up. eleven o'clock. Ralph won't shut his trap. Burn my fingers. Got my batteries. Good morning, ladies. Time to go. Let's roll, baby. Yorkie. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Second ride of the year, February 28th, 7th. 7th. Yeah. Two rides yeah. in the backcountry. Yeah, we need more snow. Ready to go? Yes, I'm definitely ready. There's one riding spot where we're up on like the third or fourth shelf, and next thing you know, Yorkie's coming down from above us, and here we are thinking we were, we were the, you know, at the top. We were all pretty pumped, proud of ourselves. Um, with his 165, he's always pulling something out of his tail end that uh, makes us just in awe. So, Ralph woke us up early today. Amazing. I thought I had you. On, older, I thought I had you on my side, bud, to sleep in for another hour. I would have, until I heard that song. Exactly, dude. A little 36 to get he knew, you. He knew it was your, gonna get Yorkie pumped up. A little 36 to get you rocking in the morning, baby. Finally, get out here, get some snow, ready to rip. Um. About 45 trucks just drove by with sled decks and trailers, so it should be good. It should be fun. You ready, Beach? I guess so. <laughs> 165 tractor. You're fine.
I was understanding that I was interviewing for the Young Yachtsman's Club. No, nope, this is, that, is a film about no? snowmobiles. Oh, oh. This film well, will feature, you'll, you'll be working with male talent. Uh, that, that's fine, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, it just doesn't involve boats. I'm not in. Uh, hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. Are you here for the interview? No, I'm one of the male towns. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is this couch clean? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Very sick. There's a filmer right here, guys. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be a good time. Jesus, Trav. He missed his cue. No, do it again. Nice hands, huh? I'm not, I'm, I didn't ask because I cared, but I asked because I wanted to get it on video. <laughs> <laughs> ride so much better than I used to. My, the wraps on my sled make me ride better. I swear to God. If I don't have a wrap on my sled, I suck. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's enough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> <laughs>